The most insane machines on Earth. Power beyond limits. Engines roar. Sparks fly. The ground trembles beneath a billion tons of human ambition. This is the world of the most insane machines ever built. They don't whisper. They scream. They move mountains, carve tunnels through bedrock, and lift objects heavier than skyscrapers. They crush, haul, and create at scales that make nature itself step back. From the deep mines of Chile to the shipyards of Japan, from Arctic rigs to rocket launch pads, these are the titans of technology. Built by human hands, powered by physics, and unleashed by imagination. Picture this. A 14,000-ton crawler crane lifting entire sections of a bridge into the air. A tunnel-boring monster slicing through rock thicker than a city block. A 400-ton mining truck rumbling through the desert, tires taller than men. Each one a masterpiece of control, force, and sheer mechanical poetry. But what makes these machines truly insane isn't just their size or their power. It's their precision. Every motion, every rotation, every ton of pressure is guided by perfect engineering. They operate not in chaos, but in choreography. Each hydraulic pump, each motor, each bolt performing in flawless rhythm. And as they move, something happens inside us. We feel the thrill of seeing order conquer chaos. We feel that primal awe, the same wonder our ancestors felt watching the first wheel roll across the dirt. These machines are more than metal. They're monuments to courage, to the idea that no mountain is too high, no problem too big, no dream too far. Because behind the noise and the steel lies a simple truth. Power without purpose is destruction. But power with design, that's creation. So before we go deeper into this world of mechanical giants and unstoppable energy, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Because what you're about to witness isn't just the future of engineering. It's the story of human persistence, written in steel and fire. Welcome to the world of machines that don't just work, they defy limits. Power, it's not just strength, it's discipline. The machines that dominate this planet aren't wild beasts. They're masterpieces of balance designed to channel unimaginable energy into perfect precision. Watch the lever here T284, one of the largest mining trucks ever made. It can haul 400 tons of rock in a single load. That's 400 family cars in one trip. Yet despite its monstrous size, it glides like a ghost over the terrain, its hydraulic systems whispering through thousands of moving parts. Every turn of its wheels is a conversation between man, math, and machine. Or look at the Caterpillar 6090 FS, a hydraulic shovel that weighs more than 980 tons. It doesn't smash through the earth, it sculpts it. Each bucket swing is guided by sensors, pressure valves, and algorithms calculating load balance to the decimal. Power, in its purest form, under control. Then there's the Bertha Tunnel Boring Machine in Seattle, a steel worm stretching over 300 feet, carving through the ground like a slow-motion storm. Its head rotates with a force that could crush buildings, but its path is guided by lasers, GPS, and constant calibration. That's the beauty of it. Chaos refined into rhythm. The deeper you look, the more you realize. The brilliance of these machines isn't just their ability to move, but their ability to measure. Every piston, every bolt, every degree of motion is designed, tested, and perfected through generations of engineering. It's a reminder that power without precision is destruction, but power with purpose is creation. Factories, shipyards, quarries, launch pads, each one a stage where physics performs its grandest symphony. Electric currents, hydraulic pressure, gravitational pull, all harnessed, all tuned to obey the command of human will. And that's the meaning behind these machines. They aren't built just to lift or crush or dig, they're built to prove that limits are illusions, that the laws of nature are not barriers, but blueprints. True engineering isn't about overpowering nature, it's about understanding it so deeply that we can work with it. The excavator's strength mirrors tectonic force. The turbine's spin mirrors the storm. 
The rocket's thrust mirrors the heartbeat of a star. Machines like these don't just perform tasks, they perform philosophy. They speak the language of discipline, design, and daring. And through them, humanity shows its truest face, not as conqueror, but as creator. That's why these machines captivate us. Because when we see them move, we're not watching metal. We're watching imagination take form. We're watching power beyond limits. Every gear that turns, every piston that fires, every engine that roars, all of it begins with one thing, a human idea. Before the thunder of machinery fills the air, there's silence. A silence filled with sketches, equations, calculations, and courage. Because behind every giant excavator, turbine, or rocket engine, there's someone, maybe a hundred someones, who refused to stop at good enough. Someone who looked at a blank blueprint and said, let's go bigger. Engineers, designers, builders, operators, they are the unseen heartbeat behind every machine that defines our age. They don't just build, they believe. They believe that with enough patience, precision, and persistence, even gravity can be negotiated. Think about it, the mechanic tightening bolts inside a turbine engine, knowing one mistake could mean disaster. The structural engineer calculating weight distribution for a 10,000 ton crane, double checking every number before steel meets stress. The software designer programming the systems that control hundreds of moving parts, trusting their code with lives and billions of dollars in machinery. These people don't chase fame, they chase perfection. Their reward isn't applause, it's the hum of a machine running flawlessly for the first time. That hum is music. It's proof that their design, their effort, their sleepless nights worked. Behind every towering machine stands a team, people with oil-stained hands, laser-focused eyes, and hearts that beat for precision. They speak a universal language, torque, tolerance, time. They understand the poetry of progress, that beauty isn't found in decoration, but in function, executed flawlessly. Machines can amplify power, but they can't imagine it. They can move mountains, but they can't dream of flying. Only humans can do that. Every innovation, from the first gear to the latest AI-controlled crane, carries our fingerprints. Our fingerprints on metal, our imagination in motion, our will turned into steel. And that's what makes this world of machinery so deeply human. Because the most satisfying thing about these insane machines isn't what they do, it's why they exist. They exist because people wanted to make the impossible practical, because curiosity demanded answers, because imagination refused to stay still. And that's the true power behind the power, not the engines or hydraulics, but the spirit that drives them. When you watch a turbine spin, or a truck haul, or a rocket ascend, remember, you're not just seeing engineering, you're seeing human ambition embodied in motion. Machines can move the earth, but only people can move the future. Listen, the air trembles, engines ignite, steel groans, sparks leap across the dark like lightning in a mechanical storm. This is it, the moment where humanity's imagination meets reality, where noise becomes music and motion becomes meaning, Across the globe, the most powerful machines ever built are at work, silent to most of us but vital to all. They mine the earth, they lift cities, they build the bridges we cross and the homes we live in, they tunnel through mountains, sail across oceans and launch towards the stars. Each one is a masterpiece of motion, each one is a declaration that no boundary can contain the human will to create. Watch a crawler crane rise above a skyline, its cables stretching against the wind, Watch a jet engine test stand roar like thunder, shaking the ground with controlled fury. Watch a turbine spin, its blades slicing air faster than a hurricane. And in every sound, every motion, there's something deeper, a heartbeat. Because these machines are not just power, they're precision given purpose. They remind us that strength is nothing without control. That speed means nothing without direction. That progress is more than invention, 
It's the discipline to make imagination repeatable. Look closer. Inside every machine, there are millions of moving parts, each one designed by a person, tested by a team, and assembled with care. Every cycle, every rotation, every press is a reflection of the people who made it possible. That's what makes this world of machinery so human. It's not just steel performing tasks, it's hope given form. Because when you stand before one of these titans, the massive trucks, the tunnel borers, the rocket engines, you don't just see technology, you see the history of human persistence. You see what happens when we refuse to accept limits. Machines don't exist for their own sake. They exist because we dream of more, more speed, more precision, more progress. Every upgrade, every invention, every insane new design is our answer to the question, can we go further? And the answer always is yes. That's the beauty of engineering. It's a conversation with the impossible. And every time a machine moves, humanity speaks louder. So before you scroll away, pause. Feel the hum of progress. Look at what we've built, not out of greed, but out of wonder, out of the need to understand what happens when creativity meets courage. Hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still believes that building is believing. Because these machines don't just show power, they show purpose. They remind us that no dream is too heavy to lift, no goal too far to reach, no future too far to build. Power without control is chaos. Power with vision is civilization. And when the engines finally quiet, when the steel cools and the world stands still for a moment, one truth echoes through the silence. Machines don't build the future, people do.